five wind and i think that she would be the favorite now She's i would say two. that simone face is going to run a very good race as right well now. you saw her last night yes let's see how it will all unfold at her very best veronica camber brown is usually a superb curve runner let's see how she delivers here tonight Simone Facey goes out well in lane four as well, but Cameron Brown runs a storming curve. Let's see if Facey can come back to her. Veronica Cameron Brown with the lead. Simone Facey comes up on her outside. Simone Facey going for her first national title. Callie Davis White is finishing fourth. Facey gets it. 22-68. Eight years ago, Simone Facey ran a lifetime best 22-25 and was fifth in the Olympic trials. This time around, she has booked her spot to the games. It's in Rio. And Simone Facey, at last, at last, the <laughs> World Championship finalist of 2009, VCB, gets into second. But big questions about her this weekend. Far, far, far from her best. Uh, persistency pays for, for Simone Facey. She has been uh, around the block. She's been running a long, long time. And, and um, yeah, I think she's about 30 now. But at the same time, she has maintained her shape. Uh, never the, the, the bride, always the bridesmaid. This time around, she's a big deal. And you can see what this means to her. It's her first national title in 2004. She made Anisha McLaughlin cry when she beat her at Girls' Champs over 200. This time around, she's the one crying, but it's tears of joy. Veronica Campbell Brown stuck in the tight lane two, got into the home straight in front. But Simone Faces says, I need to get to the Olympic Games. I didn't make it in the 100. I'm going to get it in the two, and I win. And what a victory. Simone Facey has been battling and battling and battling and has finally delivered. So very happy for her. A superstar in high school has not quite gotten there at the senior level, but she's now showing she's ready, even in the 100 meters. Remember, gentlemen and viewers, this is after running three tough rounds in the 100 meters where she did faded in the final. She delivers big time in the final of the 200 meters. And Kelly Davis White from Tennessee comes into third, but she's going to find that a medical exemption may have beaten her as uh, we'll get confirmation of the results in a short while so Simone Faisal winning her first national senior title and Veronica Camberfond finishing in second spot there we go 22.65 just outside her season's best uh, 22.80 for VCB 22.94 for uh, Davis White still at fourth with Henry Robinson and Sigri rounding out the field. The two MVP so athletes, Elaine Thompson and Shelley and Fraser Price, not turning up for the final.